welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this glam cut crease look. I hope you guys like this video. I wanted to do a cut crease look so I just sort of wanted to do like a basic cut crease that you could wear any with any sort of look. If you wanted to go out, if you wanted to go shopping or whatever. And you can just change up the lip colour. This lip combination is something I haven't done before and I use this YSL whatever it's called that I got for my birthday from my auntie that I got last night so it's kind of a late birthday present but I love it I think it's something I'm gonna have to get used to applying but it's a glossy stain so yeah I like the way this look came out bit of fumbling in the lips I hope you guys enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you like this video I'm not gonna have this intro go on for too much longer so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Let's get straight into it. I'm going to start by priming my face with my Benefit Professional Primer. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my Chanel Vital Lumia Aqua Foundation in Turn Beige, and I'm going to apply it with my Makeup Geek face buffer brush. You just shake up this foundation first. For concealer today, I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. An oldie buddy goodie. Now I'm going to blend that out with my Real Techniques setting brush. This is just a very precise brush that can get into all those little crevices that the real that the Sigma Ibukabuki can't get into. To set that concealer in place, I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer Powder thing. And I'm going to set that with my F30 brush, the tapered highlighter from Sigma. So now I'm just going to apply my Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS, just underneath my eyes, because they're very dry. So I'm just powdering everywhere that the concealer was with the Bare Minerals Well Rested. I'm just looking up. Making sure that's all powdered. Maybe a little bit on the lids. Whatever left on the brush is fine. For powder for setting my foundation, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Mineralized Powder in Soft Porcelain. I'm going to apply that with my F30 brush from Sigma. And we're just powdering everywhere except for pretty much underneath the eyes and on my bridge of my nose. To bronze and contour my face, I'm going to be using this uh, Smashbox Contour Palette. This has just got three colours. A yellow one, that's for underneath your eyes. A bronzy coloured one, or like a warm toned one for bronzing. And then a grey tone for contouring. So I'm going to apply the middle one, which is the bronzing, with my F05 brush from Sigma. Now with the same palette, I'm going to be using my NARS ITA brush. I'm just going to put this in, just in the hollows of my cheekbones, to contour. And I'm using the contour shade. Now for blush today, I'm going to be using my NARS blush in Tordrid. Tordrid? I don't know. It's sort of a rolly colour. I'm going to use my Sigma F40 brush from just tap off the excess and just start at the back and pat forward. Just gotta blend it as much as you can. 
For highlighter today, I'm going to be using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Infernal Light. And I'm going to apply it with my Tapered Highlighter F35 brush from Sigma. I'm just applying this on the high points of my cheeks. I might use my finger. I'll just blend it out. I'm just going to apply this everywhere that catches the light. Now that's the base done, we're going to go onto eyebrows, which I'm going to do off camera because I've got a eyebrow tutorial that is that I already have up that I'll link below. And I'm only changing a few things with my eyebrows, so if you guys want an updated brow routine, because my brows are a bit different these days, just let me know. I can put that up for you. So I'm going to start off my eyes with my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. First, start by applying Naked 2 from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette using my E35 brush. I'm going to apply this in the crease from inner corner to outer corner, not going on the lid at all because we want that cut crease sort of look. Get the eyeshadow so it doesn't touch the lid. I'm looking up, I have my head up and looking down into my mirror. Going on, I'm going to use Fate from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I'm going to apply that with my E30 pencil brush from Sigma. We're just applying this in the crease. And I'm just looking down into my mirror down here. And this I'm just applying on my bone, but just like the bone's here. I'm just applying it pretty much right underneath it. We're going right out to the outer corner over here. Now I'm just going to grab a clean E25 brush from Sigma and I'm just going to blend this in to the Naked 2 shade because we don't want any harsh lines. But we're not blending this down either. We're just blending it up. Now I'm going to use this black shade called Crave and I'm going to apply that with my E65 Small Angled Sigma brush. I'm just applying this pretty much in the same place we applied the faint shade but this is just going to be more precise and just a little bit below where we applied it. a little flick at the butt back there. Now I'm just going to do the other, same with the other side. Now I'm just grabbing a clean pencil brush from Sigma, the E30 brush. And it's just 100% clean. I'm just going to smoke out the black. Now I'm just adding the black more into the inner corner. grab my E25 brush again. I'm just going to blend. Blend, blend, blend. Now for the lid colour, I'm going to be mixing Foxy and WOS. I'm going to apply that with my Sigma E55 brush. apply my NARS ink pot in Black Valley with my MAC 208 brush and I'm just going to apply a wing liner. I'm going to do this off camera just because I've got to be really close up to my mirror and you won't, I won't be in frame either. Yeah, so that is my winged eyeliner. Looks okay, I think. It's good. And so that's the finished eye look. I'm going to apply some mascara and the mascara that I'll be applying is my Kiko Ultra Tech Mascara. Oh, 
onto my lips. I'm going to be applying a different lip combination than I've ever done before. So this is going to be a trial. Hopefully it will work out. I'm not sure about it yet. I'm going to apply my lip liner in Night Moth by MAC. or whatever it is I'm going to be applying this YSL well I'm just going to write it in the description bar I can't even say it and it's in the color 9 and it's a red so that's the lips done different to what I've usually done but yeah so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it interesting, fun, and quite different. I may have budged through a few things, but it turned out great. I loved it. I think it actually is like a, it's like a full glam look. So this would something this would be something that you would wear going out to like a nightclub, dinner, or whatever. But you could like change up the lips and just go with the eyes and nude lip and go out every day. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, found it fun, interesting, and, and subscribe to my channel so I don't miss out on any of my videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.